parts. Did somebody just say y'all out of diesel? That's exactly, yes, sir. Dang. We will not have diesel for a while. Whoa. sacrifices you had to make to be a truck driver, a female truck driver? Um, being away from friends, family, kids, I have kids. Family. Family. Be away from all your days. I had to get away from family, be away from family. What are some of the issues drivers face in the industry today? Uh, too much downtime, not enough to make money. Slow ass trucks don't get out of the way. Regulations. I don't know. We used to think e-logs were going to be a disaster, but I really don't hate them now. I get my rest. DOT pretty much leaves us alone. I don't think it's that bad. And I've just got three huge pay raises in a row. What are some of the issues drivers face in the industry today? Um, From a female point of view. So what are some of the issues you guys face in the industry today? Harassment. Okay, I see you doing your thing. Why did you Why did you seek a job in trucking? Um, just basically pretty much for the money and it's places for advancement. I'm trying to be my boss and everything. I don't want to be trucking when I go. I love trucks. And I don't want to punch time clock. Okay. And I want to be my own boss. Okay. I take everything up from my family. Well, I always want to do my wife and I when I retired from law enforcement also. Describe your dispatcher from 1 to 10. 5. <laughs> oh, I have one. Uh, 2 and a half. 2 and a half. Ooh. Why so low? They, they pick you out. They, they got to be on their favorite position. They ain't on my favorite position. 10? Awesome. Ten. All right. Eight. Eight. Yeah. What motivates you about trucking? Okay, okay. What are the biggest reasons people fail as truck drivers? They can't take being away from family. Lack of training. Lack of training. I'm guessing they don't like it. Probably because it's a mind thing. I mean, you have to have a mindset to be out here on the road like that. A lot of people can't do it. When I first came out here, I had a lot of people, you know, friends who was, you know, went to see us. And none of them are over the road. They just can't do it. I mean, they can't sacrifice, you know, being away from family and friends and stuff like that. I mean, it's not a normal life out here. What frustrates you? Um, wasting time. I mean, we are flat bad, so we waste a lot of time here. I mean, we only got 11 hour clock, and sometimes we spend six, seven hours waiting on the shipper to get loaded or unloaded. You get jacked around with the customers and stuff, and they don't get you unloaded, but I have very little of that. I'm a company driver. We get. You know, we know all our customers, they take good care of us. Uh, yeah, just to lure you in. You can come to work again. Why does trucking companies say they treat you like family? Just to get you in there. Oh, uh, because the owner might want to be just, you know, treated as a number or something. You know, you want to make sure that you have more of a personal type of relationship, you know, with the company that you're working for. So they can understand, like, stuff that you got going on and things that you got home time and support and stuff like that. So My company treats me very well. All right. I don't know that I feel like I'm family necessarily, but you can come to work again. Uh, yeah, just to lure you What in. has trucking done for you? I'm allowed to make a living with my family to support my wife and I. Made a living. Provide a lot of, a lot of good things for me and my family. Good living. All right. I mean, I've done quite well. All right. Hey, my Damn. There you go. <laughs> Bonus question. Um, you're a flat bearded. What? What? You about uh, uh about five. 5'8", 
What made you get into flat banding? I, I mean, was doing dry banding, ain't no money in that. Plus, I like to be more physical and, you know, I like to do work and stuff. I can't just, you know, drive all day and back up to a dock and get low just morning. Now let, now, now let the people know there is pretty girls with the nails growing straps. Let, let, let them know. Let, let, let them know what because they say, don't let them know it's pretty girls throwing straps. Yes, you know, because you know? they say a lot of, they say, you know, a lot of females that's, that's throwing straps doing flatbed, you know, looking like big birther out here. But exactly. that's you change, you, you changing that's the mode. Yeah, that's why I get a lot of attention out here because I look the way I look and I'm pulling a flatbed, you know, not the typical drive band that most women go to when they get out of school. What, I mean, what, what do you, what, what's the vibe you get when you get when you step out the truck? Oh, I'm a celebrity from, out here. I ain't gonna lie. Like people treat me like a celebrity. People come up to me all the time asking me to take pictures and can they record me doing my work or securing my loads, all types of stuff. I have people video recording me and traffic, all types of stuff. I'm serious. All, all right. The time. All right. Well, I appreciate you. You stay safe. My name's Lockout Men. Check me out on YouTube.